Hello, welcome Martin's channel. Uh, this is a Schäblin 102 VM. It is about the machine is uh, from yeah, 1930. Uh, I don't assume this is a part number. <laughs> it is. It must be the year. Um, <coughs> I had the intention to show how to use the automatic feed mechanism here because some questions ca came up. Okay, first, span your piece, use your tailstock, be certain it is centered, unlock the carriage. This is a stop rod here. So I placed the stop rod there where I wanted to stop the, get the carriage to stop. You have to do this. Um, without the cutter touching the piece. Um, you do this like this. This is the lever for automatic ausschalten. Means this is the automatic feeding mechanism you engage. It is not engaging because it is not on the, the half knot down there is a mechanism. It is coming up from beneath when you pull this lever like this you hear it now i hope listen no it's not engaged normally it would make clock oh, voilà. oh, the button had pushed on the lever now it is not working because the half nut has to be on a precise position on the lead screw down there so it can catch inside um, this is normal there's not the problem you just have to find this point and then you you cannot move this uh, wheel now normally it should turning also I thought it should but uh, it isn't or just such less that it is not visible but uh, this is not important the important thing is this sound you have to get your your, your carriage where there where this lever engages when it does you're on the on the, on the right uh, spot now my lever system here, this is for Schaltung für Drehen und Gewinde schneiden, means this lever uh, is um, uh, telling the machine where it is going. Now when it is down, it will run and on the left, at least on my machine, and when it is up, it will turn on the right side. Now we leave it on the right side, because I want to get away from this part, because my stop is here. You can adjust your stop when you have this. It is a also it is a vital machine part, but when you when it is missing, you're missing out. You can make this by yourself, but it is a, it's just a, so a piece bolted, a rod clamping mechanism bolted to the machine. It is not too complicated to fabric, but um, well, how to produce? But uh, mine was there. It has some holes in it. But I don't care. It is holding up the button here, so <laughs> that's its job. Okay. Again, check for the sound. When you, when you have done this, the, you're on the right spot. Now we want to turn in the right, from, from the spindle away, in the right direction. And now we start the machine. And the slow. There you see the wheel is turning. You can stop it all time by just pulling or pushing down this this small lever here. Like this. You can move your carriage and when your and the lead screw is on the right. There you have it. Now it is moving. Now we are turning this down somewhat, because I have to measure this. It is somewhat off, 
so this is why we are doing it. I will change the speed so it will become slightly annoying, as I don't hope. <coughs> it doesn't annoy me. <laughs> I hope you don't get annoyed by the music the machine makes, I love it. And in person it is really fast to watch. It is not moving slow by any means. But that, that, that is camera. Film is film. This is some C45 by the way. It's some uh, low carbon steel. Now to stop the machine. Lift, lift or push down the small lever. Now I will engage in the other direction. I will not change the wheel because the cutting steel does its work. I wanted to check the, the thickness of it. I did some adjust I made some adjustments down there. So I can measure the straightness of the machine. It is slightly off, not much, just by five of one hundredths. Also, zero point zero zero five millimeters. It is not as perfect as I hoped, but I have to adjust the machine down. There is some uh, special mechanism here. You can adjust the clock, the machine with this. Now we go in the other direction. You have to bring the carriage away from there and then engage it. I will now overcut it somewhat. But I assume highly my tool is not sharp enough. Well, it looks good. We will see what the micrometer tells us. Some slow action. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I have to stop it now with the lever here. When it is coming away from the steel clock. Now we turn down the speed, take some measuring device. I should have brought my camera man. That's too, that's too much. Yeah, that's okay. Nope, that is too much. I cannot work with one hand, this is not possible. Um, this is all about, I have to tell you. This is for engaging the, the nut. When you hear the sound, it is working okay. This turning on the left side or the right side, uh, when you change the, the lever, you can do this on the fly. Um, this will turn slowly in one direction, stop about three seconds and then turn back. That is absolutely normal and the machine is in good shape. <coughs> when it is not doing that, uh, well, you have to check for solutions. I don't know the machine that well that I can give you one, but uh, I can tell you as much as when this is moving slowly, um, like this. Now it is turning on the left side, and when you change the lever up, this stops and then it turns after three seconds in the other direction. That's absolutely normal, so don't be worried at all. And well, I don't have to tell you more about this auto.
make an auto, auto feeding mechanism. Uh, next thing would be uh, how to cut the thread with the machine. But uh, I'm not there now because I have to well measure this and then maybe cut some uh, thread on this. I have to make some stuff, but uh, this is not now the, the the task. I wanted to measure the the part so I I know how accurate and straight the machine is. That's all about this feeding mechanism when you have some questions. I hope there are none because uh, I like to explain the things so there are no questions and things are clear. Why not shoot some questions? Um, about this topic, about the auto feeding mechanism, not something else, please. I, I make some video for everything I think uh, there is a need for. Um, and that's all, that's it, okay? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Leave the thumbs up um, here so my channel can grow. Maybe I earn someday money from YouTubing. <laughs> okay. Bye, folks. Have a nice day.